What is happening now, the negotiations for 10, 10, 10 meant that a governor will be applied. It was, it was, do we have a governor. From day one, the U.N. had an issue with that. Why? Because when we pass our laws, when we pass our laws, who ratifies our laws? The governor. Who does the governor represent? The king. So in the end, Holland has the last say for our laws. When we negotiated 10, 10, 10, we negotiate, we ended up with a CFT. But remember, Article 73, which I should have mentioned before, means that you have to, the country that you colonize, you have to um, bring it up to a level yeah, that it is, prepare them financially. Right. So when we, when we broke off from Netherlands Antilles, Netherlands Antilles had a federal, listen to me good, federal deficit about, of two billion guilders. St. Martin had a fraction of that. St. Martin was accountable for a fraction of that. Holland said, we're going to pay off the federal deficit, but you cannot go back to this. We're going to put in a CFT to make sure that you balance your budget for the—until— if you can balance your budget for three years back to back, you're good. You can pull out. You can um, dismantle the CFT. St. Martin, on its own now, had uh, a def I had uh, we had we owed we owed about 180 million guilders. The condition was make sure that your your budgets are balanced and up to date at this specific time. I'm just paraphrasing. I don't know really the specific, but um, make sure that they're 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 balance at a specific time, or your, your budgets are audited at a specific time, and then we will pay it off. We didn't get to meet the conditions, and we never received the 180 million. So we started 10, 10, 10 on a terrible stance. We were in, in a deficit of 180 million guilders. But it does not negate the fact that we can go back and renegotiate that we can. Even when, when you sign a contract, or sometimes at the bottom of the contract, it doesn't say that, provided it was in the Constitution or the laws of the, of the country of St. Martin. So remember, so like I said, you have the Constitution, you have the Kingdom Charter, you have the international laws. If for some reason we wake up and we see that something is not working for us and it is not in alignment with the international laws, we have a right to change that because that supersedes our laws. And 2017 World Bank, the way it was done, that opened our eyes. And last year, now that you're asking us to give up our autonomy, pay back something that you know full well we can't afford to pay back, forcing us to do that, treating us completely different from our other kingdom partners, mm -hmm. that woke us up. Why it's and that's why now, you know? Yeah, then why is it Martin? Um taking any money from the Dutch government then? Why we don't we have no, there? because of how the charter is set up. Remember, the Minister of Finance did have a plan B. He was going to float a local bond. But as soon as SSS um, State Secretary Knops and the um, CFT found out that we were floating a bond locally, mm -hmm. they blackmailed us. They told us plain out, next week you'll have a 50 million um, killer bond that's going to be matured. If you continue with this, we will block you. We will force you to pay the 50 million and put you in a bigger deficit. That's a blackmail. So then we will force them to sign with a third tranche and force to do the co The prime minister did not feel comfortable. That was her only, that was her one opportunity to do something locally. We are not allowed to borrow internationally unless Holland says it's okay. 